Gotta wear my Nike hat for this one so they know that I'm not just straight hating on them. Hey, what up and welcome to another episode of Crease Teat. If you've been keeping up with the sneaker world as of late, say in the last couple of years, people trying to say the Nike fell off. And there was recent news that they dropped 20% in one day, which was the most since like the 80s, right? That's in the financial market. It's not a good look. There are things that aren't selling, but... In the grand scheme of things, the world is going through it. Wars, uncertainty, all that type of stuff. Upcoming elections, everything is happening. But Nike know how to get our money. Let's be honest. This started happening last year, early this year. And these plans that they have in for things, usually well over a year. But this year... We had the Air Max 180. Crazy. We knew about it. We knew it was coming. But still crazy. We had the big bubble Air Max 1 in the blue. The OG blue colorway. I was at NQ today and they're on sale there. So didn't really do much there. But then we had the halves. The half Air Max 1. Like that took everyone by surprise. It was just out of nowhere. I don't think they really leaked until it was happening. Which is crazy. That never happens. And that surprise. I kind of miss that in the sneaker world. We've got the Air Max TLs coming back. we got, of course, the Black Toe Jordan 1. Which is probably the only Jordan 1 I'm actually looking forward to this year. Another random one. We had the Spike Lee anniversary spizoax but in a low they should be a high not a low i don't care if lows are meant to be selling better that shoe needs to be in a high it was limited to only 100 shoes so i don't know why i'm complaining so it's not really gonna matter it's like when these things happen we're just like hit the panic stations launch this launch that all right what do they want mm, fear fours we're gonna do fear fours Hmm, what about something more niche? The TN community. Drop all OG colorways and some ones that are going crazy. We got Fireberries, we got we got Tigers. I wanna say the Battle Blues dropped this year as well. There's talks that maybe the OG blue colorways dropping as well. It's insane. If that's not crazy enough, in November the black cement threes are dropping. It's like look. You don't want to spend your money on these colorways, I get it. Look, we got a little bit cocky, but here's some OGs. You can't go past the OGs. Columbia 11s. Doesn't matter if you're not into 11s. People like the Columbia 11. I like the Columbia 11. You want something random and niche to go with this bulky trend that's happening at the moment, this 2000s revamp because let's face it nostalgia happens in 20 year increments how about the air max saunders who saw that coming military blue fours one of my favorites for this year just wish they were as comfortable as the bread four reimagines <laughs> i already know the answer to this but i hope there's no more reimagines next year like I don't know, I'd, it's too much, but these things are usually in the plan for a minute, right? So when these, we can forecast via a trend that Nike's not doing as well because the world's not doing so well. Other brands are making up a percentage of market share, which was last year, but that 20% drop in a day, that's crazy, right? So what do we do? How about the Grape Fives? Not the joints with the Will Smith without the laces. Uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is like one of my favorite shows of all time. This is all we needed for the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. These are called the Reverse Bel-Airs, but this is the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air to me. What about the White Cement Fours? The only OG colorway I don't have within the Fours. The Metallics. Were Metallics in that first round? I don't know. I'm not counting them. But 
I need them, and I'm probably going to buy multiple pairs of that, so long as they're not $300 each, but who knows, by the time they come out, they could be more. Alright, they're still not, they're still not interested, let's go a couple of 85s, let's drop the shadow in an 85 high, and bread's in an 85 high. Jordan 1's are, are sitting everywhere, they're going on discount, but can you, can you go past the shadow? Or a bread? I don't know if I can, let's be honest. In 2025, they're coming for not only your wallet, but the jugular. <laughs> We're talking niche, we want something a little bit different. Something that took the world by storm. The Galaxy Foams. I don't even like foam posits, but they've always been just something crazy. For me, I think, is it the Poseidon ones? I feel like I prefer them, the green, the black and green joints. But look, Nike has had to flip everything on its head because for the longest time, they were getting away with just doing dunks and Jordan ones. That's all they needed to do. Sprinklings and fours, they went great. But as this cycle comes around, this 20 year cycle, we're on baggy fits. We on big chunky joints. Okay, the fours are good for that. The others not so much. So what can we do? That's where like the Air Max TL, the Air Max Saunder. What about the Air Max 95 in the OG big bubble? Neon 95s, probably one of the greatest Air Max colorways of all time. But let's not get it twisted. Let's do it on an SB last as well, not, not separate, both. You can't skate in Air Max 95s, what are you talking about? Stevie Williams already was skating in Air Max 95s, in the Neon 95. Who back in the day actually skated some 95s. Like, I remember when this first leaked and everyone was like, oh, why would you do that? You can't skate in them. I couldn't imagine skating them. Do your research, dummy. So, don't come at me with that. I've got receipts. What about some flu game 12s? I don't even like 12s, but that's insane. All these releases in 2025. If you're not happy with all of that, what about multiple colorways in the SB4? The SB4 Pine Green, out of the box thinking, went crazy. They redesigned the shape because of it. It was so good. And they're comfy as hell. I still ain't got a pair. It's a sore subject, but now they're doing multiple colorways. And I think the blue's a nicer colorway. Me personally. That's insane. I said, when this is happening, they're hitting panic stations. It's like they're sitting behind the board. What do we do? And they're firing off missiles. And then they bring the nuke out. Wu-Tang Dunks. Who the hell saw that coming? I literally have a Wu-Tang tattoo on my wrist. These aren't a want. These are a must. These are a need. The marketing behind it, where they just barely showed the shoe with some bees all over it. Sent the internet into a storm for a couple of days. Like nuts. Absolutely crazy. And what's even crazier is it didn't leak. This has been in the works for well over a year. From what I'm told. But it didn't leak. That is incredible. I would love for that to happen more. Where we get these surprises. And we're just... For me, like, my favorite experience, sneaker shopping, is just going somewhere and coming across something that I didn't expect. Same thing can be said kind of with, you know, flicking through the feed and then all of a sudden, bam. And, like, when it's shot with a potato and it's a leak, it's not that great. When it's official images, with like, they killed it. They killed it. But then, let's talk about some rumors. Undefeated fours. If you don't know the history of this shoe, it's released a couple times before, but this was actually offered to Eminem as an official collab. He was offered it. He was offered that and the Encore. He went with the Encore. But people still associate that Undefeated 4 
with Eminem. I don't know why. They just do. It's undefeated. It's dope. Jordan 4 is a dope. It's a dope colorway. That's a grown man Jordan. I do not want to spend 20 grand on a pair of shoes. I never will. Never. That's like a down payment on a house. But if they re-release in 2025 like they're talking about... I just might pull out that 300 bucks. Well, that's what they're charging us over here in Australia for a Jordan 4 when it's a special release. So The craziest rumor that's circulating at the moment is the Off-White 10 to be re-released. Now, this is still a rumor. Possibly next year, but more than likely if they're gonna do it, it would be in 2027, because that'd be 10 years since the release of the 10. It's called the 10. So 10 years later would be incredible. But imagine all them dudes with the Chicago off-white ones, trying to get like, five grand for them or whatever they're going for and they just drop more maybe double triple quadruple the amount that they've done before for me when i first come across that shoe i remember seeing it on the internet and just being like damn that's crazy like it's something you just took note of straight away and i was like yes that's something new that's a new idea and i really like it the problem was, after that, it was just rinse and repeat. Bare some materials, put a hole here, see through there, right? Air on it and put a zip tie on it. Nothing that crazy. But, I mean, the 10 was 10 different shoes, but that's the one I want. Maybe the Air Max 90, maybe the Presto, I don't know, but the Chicago one for sure. But it is going to be a slog for these joints here while these will spark our interest and have us going crazy they're going to be trimming the numbers a bit i've been saying this for a minute the numbers are going to be smaller because they don't want imagine a classic like a white cement four going to the outlets that's crazy in this day and age because it'll be all over the internet and it's not a great look back in the day if something like that happened you grab a pair you were stoked. You got your little come up, your little win. Like I remember getting the 89 flights for $65. I remember getting certain Air Max 90s for like 50 bucks, 60 bucks. Like classic colorways, but it's a different time and age. Perception is a big part of this. Man, I, I'm just... This YouTube shit better start paying off because I don't know how I'm going to buy all them shoes. Just alone in those ones there, if I just go the bare essentials that I need, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's call it ten. Ten pairs of shoes because I know there's a couple there I'm going to want doubles of, so... Median spend on a pair of sneakers these days, let's say two to two fifty. Shit, <laughs> I'll bank about taking it. So, this year's been quiet. So next year can eat, I guess. I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like Nike has so much in the catalog that they can dip through. And yes, we are still talking retros. These are retros. Everything that I've mentioned here is a retro. But at the same time, it's different. Like, who would have predicted a Huff Air Max 1 coming out? The Wu-Tang Dunks coming out? Undefeated 4s? Air Max Saunders? Air Max TL? It's just completely flipping the script on what they've done lately. But, they are going to be focusing more on innovation too. I just saw... Not five minutes before I started doing this, the Nike Jam, which is going to be the official b-boy shoe for the Olympics, and they're dropping one with a Futura collab. Huge Futura fan, love b-boys, love hip-hop, like that shoe, I'm going to have to get it. I don't know how hard it'll be to cop, because it's there's no data for this, it's a brand new silhouette, but I'm going to need that shoe. 
Even the Air Max Pegasus uh, Premium, I think it's called. I saw the new Pegasus today in store. It's not that impressive to me. It's just the standard running shoe, but the Premium joint looks incredible. I just don't know if it's going to have a premium price. Let me know what you're thinking. I think Nike's coming out for all-out assault on our wallets. I feel like they're not pulling punches anymore. This is going to be crazy. And so long as we all got money to pay for it, it's going to be a great time. But this has been another episode of Crease Seat. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. We'll be back twice a week. Peace.